Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Parts Talk. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now those who said EVs are better for the environment without any real proof were in over their heads and early buyers were flaunting, trying to highlight the many benefits of driving an EV after dishing out 30, 40 and over $50,000 of their hard earned cash to say, I drive a Tesla. Now that dust is settling, we have a new problem. There is a surge in early model EV battery failures that has been happening throughout the auto repair industry, leaving drivers facing a new challenge. Then the shortage of qualified auto mechanics capable of working on EV batteries is compounding this issue, leading to prolonged wait times for repairs and staggering replacement costs. The message isn't clear enough, but I will keep trying until you all get it. But before I get into this next feature, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like if you appreciate content like this. Let's get into this feature. What's demand been like for you lately? What's the, it's mayhem. When the Tesla Model S debuted in 2012, not much was known about battery sustainability. The engineers were brilliant at Tesla, but who who'd have thought? You know, because they didn't have they didn't have data. Long-term studies. Yeah, and the studies are the cars that are breaking now, right? Breaking now, because he says the cells in those early batteries were more likely to overheat. We think over all over time, the cars that have been supercharged a lot, the batteries are failing. But here's how much it costs to replace a failed battery. Um, a Tesla battery new is between 12 to 20,000, depending on how big the pack is. So EV early adopters are learning about their battery's health the hard way. The original um, owner of this car. She drove, she drove up here from Oregon to, do, to visit her daughter and the car shut off in her daughter's driveway. Experienced that sticker shock firsthand. So she was gonna get uh, the $17,000 repair. The car booked out at 20 and she just didn't feel like it was worth it. So they walked away from it. It's stories like these. Then it kind of morphed into 57 of them sitting here. Leading to a bottleneck of scrapped cars and broken cars at his repair shop. We have, you know, 350 plus appointments for Model S batteries. Carl Medlock's sons work with him in the shop. And that's the throwaway that I'm talking about. Throwaway industry. So you have a $20,000 car and you're just going to throw it away because it needs a $20,000 pack. Randy. There you have it. The throwaway industry. Because as demand for EV repairs outstrips the available expertise, drivers are met with the sticker shock, increasing financial strain of owning an EV. And moreover, the environmental ramifications of dead EVs are significant. Without proper disposal or recycling methods for EV batteries, these vehicles risk end up in junkyards, posing environmental hazards and contributing to resource depletion. Let's continue. Medlock is hoping for solutions as we look towards a greener future. Tesla has recently made um, software updates to their newer models to prevent overheating. Now, it's important to note, too, that they say that their batteries are recyclable. And hey, a new report shows that last year, Washington saw the largest increase in EV market share of all states in the nation. But unfortunately, there just aren't enough mechanics trained on working on EV battery repairs. So that's something that Medlock says he's hoping will change and balance out going forward. Reporting live in Seattle, I'm Maddie White. So there you have it. The cream is slowly rising to the top. And in the global fight against climate change, Greta Thunberg, you remember her? How dare you? Greta emerged as a prominent figure, rallying millions around the world to advocate for environmental action. And she was given an international platform and had world leaders and celebrities in awe about how stunning and brave she is. However, a closer look at the consequences of her activism, amongst others, reveal a darker reality behind the push for electricity vehicles. Now remember, there is deep sea mining for lithium, children gathering cobalt in the Congo, and women walking around with machetes in Indonesia patrolling their land from illegal lithium mining, all of which I already covered. While Thunberg 
and members of the Western regime championed the transition for us to go to EV as a solution to climate change. The environmental damage caused by their production raises serious ethical questions about the true cost of our green initiative. Consumers are forced to increase their embrace of electric vehicles, but it's critical for us to acknowledge and address the environmental injustices associated with their manufacturer and the thousands of jobs already lost in their wake with more job losses on the horizon. Now between GM, Ford, Stellantis and Tesla over 30,000 people have been displaced. Action comes with consequences. So in the pursuit of a sustainable future, how do we hold environmental activists and our political leaders accountable for the unintended consequences of their advocacy? Only by acknowledging the dark side of our green endeavors can we strive for truly ethical and equitable solutions to the climate crisis as usual let me know your thoughts in the comments below and let's have a healthy debate remember to grab a copy of my ebook the parts manager guide please smash that like button on your way out it will only take you 1.5 seconds to do so until next time